Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are interested in fast Sony wide angle lenses and you can't make up your mind, then this review is right for you. I will compare the three most popular Sony wide angle lenses and we will find out which one is right for you. The opponents are the Sony 14mm f1.8 G Master, the Sony 20mm f1.8 G and the legendary Sony 24mm f1.4 G Master. Wide angle lenses are a good choice for scenes on grand scale such as wide landscapes or starry skies. These lenses can take in scenes wider than the field of human vision. One advantage is that wide angle lenses bring out depth and perspective, making narrow rooms look spacious or tall buildings look even taller. As you probably already know, wide angle lenses has a very specific focal length and every millimeter down from 24mm to 4 mil makes a big difference. We will find out how much difference it really makes in a moment. As always, first we will take a look at the specs and differences of the lenses. Then we will look at the image quality and finally we will come to the conclusion. So let's start with the specs. We have on the 14mm an aperture from f1.8 till f16. On the 20mm an aperture of f1.8 till f22 and the 24mm has an aperture of f1.4 till f16. All three lenses are weather sealed. You can use a 67mm filter on this 20mm and 24mm. But unfortunately the 14mm has no filter on the front. But you can use a clip in filter at the rear of this lens. You have 9 aperture blades on the 14mm and 20mm and 11 aperture blades on the 24mm. All three lenses have an aperture declick switch, a focus hold button and an AF MF switch. The 40mm weights 460g, the 20mm 373g and the 24mm 445g. You have a diameter on the 40mm of 83mm, on the 20mm 74mm and on the 24mm 75mm. The 40mm has a length of 100mm, the 20 of 85mm and the 24mm of 92mm. You have on the 14mm a minimum focus distance of 25cm, on the 20mm 19cm and on the 24mm exactly 24cm. And now we will come to the last point, the price. You can currently buy the 40mm for 1500 euro, the 20mm is the cheapest lens here with 900 euro and the 24mm costs 1300 euro. Ok, now we will come to the interesting part of this comparison, the image quality test. The pictures were taken with the Sony a7 IV and come straight unedited out of the camera. Have fun!
Welcome back. As you have seen in the image comparison, each of the three lenses offers an excellent image quality. All are suitable for landscape and astrophotography. Since I do a lot of astrophotography, each of the three lenses has earned a place into my photo backpack. To be honest, I have to admit that I use the 20mm f1.8G at least. But that doesn't have to be the same for you. You have to be aware that the 40mm f1.8G master is also a very special lens and is simply too wide for many photographers. I prefer to use the 24mm f1.4G master because I love the look and the focal length. For some photographers the 20mm f1.8G is probably the better choice, as it is wide enough to capture a lot in the picture but not so wide that you can no longer recognize many objects in the picture. I can't take the decision away from you, but what I can promise you is that you won't be disappointed with any of these lenses. They all offer an excellent build and image quality. But if you want to know more about these lenses, I have more reviews of each lens on my channel, as well as more comparisons like the Sony 24mm f1.4 G Master against the Samyang 24mm f1.8 or the Sony 40mm f1.8 G Master against the Samyang 40mm f2.8 with some surprising results. So have a look at these reviews as well. What do you think about these three lenses? Do you see it different than I do? Feel free to write it in the comments down below. And if you are interested in one of these lenses, you will find also a link in the description down below. And if you like this test, I would be happy if you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please write it also in the comments down below. I will try to answer everyone. See you next time.